Just by watching his body language on the pitch these days, you can tell that Lionel Messi doesn't really want to play for PSG anymore. And, well, we say anymore, but did he really ever want to play for PSG? We all know that if everything went how it was supposed to go, Messi would never have left Barcelona in the first place. But what happened happened, and he did. And apart from the fact that PSG were one of the very few teams in the world who could afford his salary, there were other incentives that motivated Messi to make that move to Paris. Two of them coming in the persons of Neymar and Angel Di Maria. And then a little bit of parades, if you'd like. Messi already had good friends at PSG, so it felt like, in spite of his introverted personality, he wouldn't find trouble adjusting to a new life in a new country. But that turned out to be far from the truth. He struggled for form in his first season, managing just six goals in 26 appearances in the league. Even though he provided 15 assists in Liga 1 that same season, those were just too far from the normal Messi standards we're used to. Many said Messi was finished, but as it turned out, this wasn't about Messi. It was about PSG. And to make matters worse, before this season started, it felt like PSG were hell-bent on making life in Paris worse for Messi. They let go of two of Messi's good friends, Paredes and Di Maria, both of whom left for Juventus last summer. Even Neymar looked like he was going to leave in the summer. But in spite of that, Messi started the season in great form, scoring and assisting game after game. But it seemed like he had a personal motivation, so it wasn't even like he really wanted to play for PSG. It was World Cup year and he wanted to be in great form ahead of the tournament, which he mentioned could be his last. And it was no secret at all. Prior to Qatar, if Messi felt the slightest discomfort, he was sitting the game out. He wasn't taking any risks at all. Messi's not really been injured this season, but he's missed out on six games just because of slight discomfort here and there. What's our point here? Well, the point is that PSG are obviously not Lionel Messi's priority, and he continues to show it every time. We all saw Messi at the World Cup. He won the Golden Ball for Best Player of the Tournament, and you have to say he deserved it. Not only did he score in every single round at the tournament, he showed passion and desire in every game, something he's hardly ever shown at PSG. We saw how he reacted to Argentina losing their opening game of the tournament. He came out firing on all cylinders in the second game, got the very vital opener and assisted the second goal. We saw how he reacted when Argentina nearly lost the quarter-final and final games from winning positions against the Netherlands and France respectively. He fought with some crazy intensity for 120 minutes. There was passion, zeal, desire. These are things we've seen from Messi in an Argentina shirt and in a Barcelona shirt. But for PSG, never. Take a look at how much passion he's shown in any knockout game for Barcelona or Argentina and then contrast that with the knockout games he's played for PSG. The Champions League round of 16 against Madrid last season. The same round against Bayern this season. The Coupe de France round of 16 against Marseille this season. Just name it. In each of these games, Messi has just looked like he didn't really want to be there. So why does Messi not want to play for PSG anymore? Well, firstly, because there's no more space in his heart. We all know that Messi would die on the line for Argentina and Barcelona. And it seems like he's not willing to do that for any other club. So while he's on PSG's payroll, he seems like he's just going to do his job and not one tiny bit more. And if we're being honest here, apart from that, PSG are not being very encouraging. Let's even set aside the fact that they let Messi's close friends leave. The club just doesn't feel like a well-run club. They don't have a structure. What they have is a lot of drama. It's like every other month we hear one thing or the other about clashes in the PSG dressing room. Messi usually stays out of the drama, but you surely can understand how demoralizing all these can be. Also, the sporting project itself looks to be a mess. Let's even forget that they gave Mbappe so much power. These guys really had a chance to sign a coach like Zidane to help them achieve their Champions League dream, but they instead went for a coach with no European pedigree. And they've made that same mistake twice already in Messi's short stint at the club. How is a serial winner like Messi supposed to want to play for a club which doesn't even seem ready to achieve success outside its local league? 
And then the fact that Messi has pretty much already completed football probably makes him less concerned about all that's going on at the club. He never really wanted to be there in the first place. The whole financial difficulty at Barcelona forced him to find an alternative. But there's nothing that PSG can give him that he doesn't already have. So he's pretty much flying on autopilot right now. In addition to that, a really big reason Messi doesn't want to play for PSG is because of the fans. We all saw how they treated him and Neymar last season after the Champions League round of 16 exit. That's a treatment Messi would not have gotten anywhere else in the world. And the French media is not helping matters at all. They're hardly ever kind to Messi, so it's no surprise that he seems to have mentally checked out. So, with his contract expiring at the end of the season, it's looking more and more likely that Messi will leave PSG. Barcelona seem like they're ready to take him back, but with everything that's going on with the club right now, can they? Or should he just finally go to Manchester City and reunite with Pep Guardiola? We're sure that there are millions of people around the world who would love to finally see Messi in the Premier League. There's also the option of going to the MLS. David Beckham and Inter Miami seem very eager to convince Messi to leave Europe. And speaking of leaving Europe, Messi could decide to follow in his rival's footsteps and chase the bag to the Middle East. But what are your thoughts? Where do you think Messi will be playing next season? Don't completely rule PSG out too. There seems to be a very cordial relationship brewing between Messi and Mbappe and who knows, that might just end up really affecting Messi's decision. Let us know what you think in the comments though. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!